A drug designed to treat heart attacks is showing dramatic benefits for stroke patients. Researchers from Newcastle's Hunter Medical Research Institute found many patients given the new drug made a remarkable recovery from stroke. The findings have just been published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine. Medical reporter Sophie Scott has the story. Crystal Fitzgibbon was just 26 when she suffered a stroke, paralysing her right side, leaving her unable to talk. And this one demonstrates to you the area of brain that was at risk. Instead of the standard treatment, she was offered a drug called tenecteplase, a clot-busting medication used to treat heart attacks. After being given the drug, uh, I got the feeling back in my arms and my legs and my speech came back virtually straight away um, within a few hours of being given, given the drug. Researchers at Newcastle's Hunter Medical Research Institute compared 75 stroke patients. They were split into three groups. One was given the standard treatment. The rest received a low or high dose of the new drug temecteplase. Using a higher dose of the new drug had dramatic benefits over the existing treatment. Temecteplase does have a significant advantage over the standard current drug alteplase in improving blood flow to the brain when there's a clot blocking an artery. More than 70% of patients in the trial reported good or excellent recovery three months after their stroke. This drug works quicker and appears to be more potent than the standard treatment and resulted in patients showing a much better recovery. In fact, doctors say every third or fourth patient reported what they called the Lazarus effect, where they were completely cured. I'm back at work full time, I'm studying part time, so really I have no side effects from the stroke at all now. It gave me my life back. Um, without it, uh, I honestly don't know where I'd be right now. There are some side effects such as bleeding and bruising, but they're considered minor. Doctors now want to run a larger trial before the treatment can be offered to all stroke patients. Sophie Scott, ABC News.